And yes, I have just admitted that I am a Christian. And the fact that you literally have to think of others' needs except and not your own selfish needs. Like I've seen some of these people who think they are better than everyone else because, oh, I'm a Christian, so I'm better than you. I have seen it a lot. I mean, I'm a Christian, and I don't think I'm better than anyone else. I'm just as, I'm just me. Just trying to make my life one day at a time. But some people don't understand that. So, yeah. So, getting back to my cartoon, once I have established, like, Edge and Sophie's living arrangement, the next part will be Edge working in his at his new job. This I have already established, which shall be a parody uh, Five Nights at Freddy's. Of course, they can't call it Five Nights at Freddy's because I'm not going to be using any of the original characters like Roxanne, Chica, and so so. And it's not going to be like scary. Or maybe I'll have like a character just like say, say boo and somebody just faints. I don't know. I'm just saying right now. Right now, I'm just trying to play this game. Looks like I'm running low on cash. I can get a little war, palm tree floor, and that's it. Yeah, I don't have enough cash. So let's just head back down here. Ooh, we got. 3,000 cash. Um, what else can I talk about? I have no clue. Oh, yeah. This is Foxy Cove. And I think... Yeah, I don't have a Fox animatronic. So... I don't know what I should do with that for my parody. But then again, I just first see how good the parody is before I is introducing any new animatronics. I mean, right now I have a manta ray, a bat, a goat, and a lizard. Um, or whatever uh, outfits is. Speaking of outfits, that got me thinking about another thing I was thinking of. I think I need to make a animation of the animatronics being built by Dr. Alphys. Yeah. Technically, I have two different versions of Dr. Alphys. I have one that's like more accurate to the in-game texture and one who, well, let's just say is more developed if you cast my drift. So the animation I am running in my head about that is basically, let's say, um, OG Alphys is working on some new animatronics 
Maybe she got hired by a company. I'm thinking the company for this parody would be called Shadow Corp. With basically all the members who have the name Shadow in them. Like Shadow the Hedgehog, Inverted Shadow, and whatnot. And I would have no association with them. It's just basically like a little shout out to those YouTubers. At least that's what I think. However, I don't think I should do that. Uh, looks like we have a visitor. Yeah, as long as he doesn't attack me. Meanwhile, I think I'll grab this just on the off chance. He just went in there. I better be ready. Okay, it looks like he's just exploring. Okay. But I best just keep my eye on him. Looks like he wants to go play some... Did he just leave? He just left. Yeah, he just left. I wonder why. Well, oh dang it, I morphed. Now I'm out ship. Ah, oh, looks like he's doing a robot. I'll go with Chica now. Maybe if that happens again. Let's just see how long I can stay as Chica. Okay. So. Getting back to this story. About my character Edge. Now, there's nothing set in stone. I have already established that in this new series I'm making, basically Edge is in a relationship with my original character Sophie. So, and I made it so Sophie can literally morph into any character she wants at will. But the thing is, her color scheme remains constant. Basically, say like she transforms into Rouge the Bat. You basically would be able to tell them apart. If I made it so like Sophie turns into an exact copy of Rouge, you wouldn't be able to tell them apart. So that's why... I made it so her color scheme remains constant, no matter what outfit she takes on. It looks like we don't have enough. We need like, let's see, uh, 45,000. I don't know who did that. But I'm just taking a little walk around. Looks like somebody has appeared. DJ Man? Ooh. It looks like this guy has gotten pretty four. Let's check him out. Montgomery Gator Tycoon. Yeah, it looks like he's got the whole bottom half done. And it looks like he's pretty much done with everything here. Okay, looks like he needs to get... Now that's 20,000 and this is a 25,000. So like I said, I need to get at least 45,000 
cash. We have our ships, laser tag. I think this room is supposed to represent the uh, animatronics green room. It looks like I now know where he is. Well, he hasn't noticed me. The only way I can see him not noticing me is if he was in first person mode. Or maybe he did notice me. No, he did not. Please excuse the mouse cursor being in the middle of the game. I don't know how to change that. It's been a while since I've been here. And I don't have enough. Looks like I still need another 15 coins. 15. I think I just need to take a quick break and come back later. So maybe I'll do a little bit of animation. Yeah. So let's head into Moho. And here you can see the next scene I am working on. As you can clearly see, it's Sophie Shapeshift. To Amy Rose's outfit. I have to fix Edge's arms. This is Moho 13 and for some reason it has a bad habit of crashing. I'm just gonna shut that off for the fact that it's new. Ooh, look at that. You can see right here some points do not get targeted. When that happens, something like that will obviously work. So, let's see, where's the points? Okay. Oh, looks like it's only one point that has not been really targeted or paired. So, already on that file just have to click on there and this and I just highlight the points I want to and then I hit enter and now those points are immediately target so when I move okay let's so now we can see if it, yep. Now you don't need to worry about you seeing the foot. That's only because this is mirrored mask. When you have something mask, it kind of gives the character an x-ray. So you don't need to worry about seeing any of those misshapen things. As you can clearly see. I also noticed the bracelet on the back hand is a little more thicker. So let's try and fix that. Oh, it looks like we're on the wrong file. So the focus on one file. It's best to just hide the ones I don't want to work on. Okay, this is the one I need to work on, so I just have to hide those two. So it looks like on top of playing Tycoon, we're also getting a lesson in animation in Moho. Let's see. I gotta click Control S, because like I said, it has a bad habit of crashing on me. And even though I basically can have autosave on, for some reason it doesn't always work. Like it says, oh sorry, file is corrupted or something. And I ended up having to do it all over again. 
It doesn't say the progress I made. Okay. Seeing that it's not showing the headband. I made this a while ago, so it's obviously the band is somewhere else. There's nothing I could do with that. that. So we're just gonna click save again. But like I said, it had the bad habit of crashing. Let's head back here now. And see just how much cash we got. Oh, that's hmm, almost enough. I just need another 15,000. Okay, let's head back into the security room. You know, I just realized we're basically putting our character on the computer and then we're heading back to the main computer so we can say that the uh, so-called security guard is working on his cartoon. Technically it's not wrong. I think I'm good here. I need to come up with the next line that Sophie is say. I think I'll make it so like she's saying it in her head. So I guess I'll show you how I make it sound. First, let's go back into Google and I'll just clear that. I'm going to say the line. Wow, it actually worked. I'm wearing Amy Rose's outfit. Hmm, wait a minute. I wonder if I could... There. Now, I'll just place these spaces so that way it tells the program to stop talking at that point. And then I take it over to here and paste that in. In order to hear the dialogue afterwards, I hit that and it will play audio file upon done. We also want to go into here and paste it again. Now the thing is, you don't want to place a question mark when you're putting it on a file. For example, I'll just do that so you can see it won't save it if it has the question mark. The spacers have no problem. And then... Wow, it actually worked. I'm wearing Amy Rose's outfit. Can wait a minute. I wonder if I could. Then we take that same audio clip we just made. Let's uh, go over the here. Um, where is it? Ah, yeah, here it is. And we're just. I guess you could look up the word "wow." This is it. Wow, well, it actually worked. I'm wearing Amy. We just drag that into here. We highlight it. This is Audacity. Then we go over to our effects. And we go over to here. And we hit Echo. Now you can adjust this. But for me, for an, like an internal thought, these settings are just perfect. Hit preview. Wow, it actually worked. I'm wearing Amy Rose's outfit. Can wait a minute. I want. It cuts off at a certain time. I'm just gonna save it now. And it will override the previous save. So now. Wow, it actually worked. I'm wearing Amy Rose's outfit. Can wait a minute. I wonder if I could. Okay, now we take that same audio file we just placed. Let's just hit the uh, control S again. It has a bad habit of crashing. And it doesn't. 
Okay, audio file has imported. Again, gonna hit save every time I can because I'm a little concerned. So now. Okay, so it's invisible now because the other ones are like hidden. Just for the record, that's the real Sophie. She's a red panda. So that's Sophie's original form. And... We're gonna now make it so she lip syncs it. We're gonna go into here, go into mouth, and then we head over and we look for the file. Here it is, first one. And we hit apply. And see how it's taking a long time and usually, oh, it's question. If it does that, there's a strong chance. Okay, it did not crash. But you saw that it was a small chance it was gonna crash right there and now. And we're trying to close this. So we'll just have to wait and see. Okay. Control S. Now we have to head back to the game. And let's check out the cash we got now. So we're basically, ooh, 60,000. I think that's enough to get us going to the third level. Yeah, we can basically get the two, I think I just, oh no, I did not. And that's Vanny. And we're still Glamrock Chica. Oh, I just noticed there's like music notes. I guess they couldn't find like the crescent moons for this. So they just used something that looked... I just fell down. But then again, that's a good thing because then I can get a little bit of extra cash. Yeah, there we go. Let's head back up. You know... This might be a good thing to do. You know, when I'm playing a PC game and basically a tycoon game on the... I got stuck somehow. Okay. As I was saying, as I'm waiting for like the cast to build up in tycoon, I could be like also working on an animation so you guys can also see me playing the game and what goes in behind the scenes of me making an animation. I mean, I don't know if any other YouTubers have ever done that. Then again, they probably only stuck with like either gameplay or animation, but not both at the same time. But then again, I can't say. There's probably one YouTuber that does that. I mean, honestly, there might be a YouTuber out there that does gameplay and animation on the same channel. I mean, look at me. I may do animation and I'm playing video game on my channel. So, I'm probably the first to do it, right? A little bit of fun, everyone. I think these are like uh, raspberry colas. You know, the first time I came play this game, I thought these were like cans of oil. But when you think about it, this is supposed to be like a gift shop. Why would they make like bottles of oil as a gift? And I think these are supposed to be like Funko Pops. Or bootleg Lego sets. I don't know. So now we're working on Jazzercise. Okay, it's not called Jazzercise, but I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be like uh, 
Glamrock Sheikah's area. I mean, the fact that it's... Yeah, I think this is definitely supposed to be Glamrock Chica's area. This means... Yeah, that makes sense. But... Then where's Freddy's... Area? Where's Monty's area? Okay. Oh. I could've thrown I saw someone. Okay. Out of catch. And down we go. Probably got some nice cash. Probably not as much as we did when we first started. But I think we can still progress nicely. I got stuck on a tree. Hmm. This tycoon game takes a lot of time. And the fact is, you basically can't do much of anything without doing it all at once. You can't even take a. I already. Okay, I'm starting to repeat myself. I was really hoping that Korea's probably gave an update to this thing, like, I don't know, a new rooms or something, but nothing has changed since the time I played it. It's basically the same thing. We're unlocking, like, a desert theme, which makes sense since this is supposed to be like a reference to Rocky. Roxanne's Race Ray. I think. Yeah, Roxanne's Race Ray. And we're almost done. After this, we just have to get 50,000. Here it is. 50,000 says 50k. But after that, we are done. This means I'm gonna have to do some more animation. Basically, hopefully. Oh, looks like I wasn't joking. There is somebody here. Well, he's not talking to me and he's not attacking me. So, we're good. I mean, I would only be aggressive if you're aggressive back. But still, I don't trust him. Okay, time to get back to animation. This is kind of funny. Think about it. Okay, so we have... I'm gonna just mute her. So I'm gonna have her right here. Where's her eyes? It's kind of lagging. I don't like that. I don't like the fact that it's lagging. Usually when it lags, that means there's a strong chance it's going to crash on me. It's just going to zoom in like so. We're going to make her eyes at this point. Go more down like so and make it so she's looking right there. Oh my goodness, that's the wrong eyes. Okay, which means I'm in the wrong file. Okay, what I need to do now is hide that. Now I think we're in the right file. Uh, no, it's, no. It's, it's picking the wrong file. 
Yeah, that's the thing. Even if you're using mask layers, if you have a character on top of a other and you're trying to get one that's underneath it, it will automatically think you're picking the character that's above the character you actually want to click on. So, yeah. Okay. We're in the right file now. Then I do a quick Control S to save. Because, like I said, I just, oops, I still had this click that makes it pick random areas, particularly areas I don't want. I want this one. Control A, and I'll just click on the screen, and that adds a key point. And now I'll just have our head going down like so. We're gonna make her eyebrows go up along with her eyelids. Okay, I need to hear what she's saying so I know exactly when to make it so she... Actually worked, I'm wearing Amy Rose's outfit. Okay, right here, I feel like she should go back up so she can stare at her back. Why? You'll see when I reveal it. Okay. Try to zoom in a little bit more. I gotta do that so I'm right on the points I need. If I'm a little bit off, then when I want to put the actual points, it might put them in the wrong position. It's gotta be this close. Right. Yeah, that looks about right. gonna have it so she's looking for the back of her so she's thinking she might be able to do something else as well hmm. yeah I think I'll make her go back so control A which selects all the points We'll just do this to reset her. So now she'll go back into this position and we'll have her staring at her back because she's thinking of doing something that she might be able to do. And wait, Aminota, I wonder if I could. And we're just going to make another key frame right there. Then we're going to have her bend over again this way. Maybe make her legs go kind of like that. And then I'm going to make it look like she's like struggling to pull something out of my back. You're gonna see. Yep, rings. What I'm gonna do is just take that so the points right there. Control S. 
now I'm just going to go to the first layer here. So these two points. Control C, Control V. And she just spawned rings. I go back here. You can see that the rings. like I messed up right here. I should have copied this thing too. So let's go ahead here, copy these. And now they'll grow from her back. Like so. Needs a little work, but I think we can make it work. And there we have it. Sophie just grew the pair of bat rings. Let's head back to the game now. Let's see how much I got now. Looks like we have a couple of people fighting. Oh, look at that. We have enough. We have enough to finish this game. And it was pretty cool. I mean, throwing in the ability of showing you what goes behind the scenes of me making my animations, you know, the text to speech programs and the voice changes and stuff. That's not bad. And now, we have the race car. If we click three, we spawn outside of it, inside the car. You can see our legs are like sticking out. Basically, it happens every time. And we just have to wait. Looks like somebody. It looks like. Okay, well, that's not me. I think this is me. Yeah, the car with your edge. It looks like I'm the only one who has beaten this game. Wait. Did the other three just left? Oh my goodness, I'm the last person on this server. Well, oh, looks like somebody new has just showed up. Well, enjoy it. Oh, I think she was, I think they were trying to hitch a ride. Beep, beep. Mm. <laughs> she could just run someone over. Oh, wait a minute. She can't. It's a ghost car. It's the attack of the ghost chica. Anyway. Wow. Apparently in the car, I can't. Okay. Oh, I, I, I don't know how I did that. Okay, well, anyway, thank you for watching this episode of Tycoons. Sorry it wasn't on the PlayStation 5, but like I said, it's not compatible with it. But anyway, I still like this game, even if it wasn't compatible. It was still lots of fun. I enjoyed it. And I'll probably put a... I'm not going to make any promises because I don't know if I can. But I'll put a link to the page where you can try this game out for, for yourself. And also, tell me what you think of my little uh, animation tutorial. Not to be confused with the tutorial the goat. Anyway. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, 
drop it a like share this video with your friends and if you could get this channel up to 1000 subscribers before february 15th i would really appreciate it just for the record that's my birthday i would really like that for a birthday gift so with that this is edge signing off